Okay, we're looking at a um, rosebud or red bud, depending on uh, your inclination. So this is Canadensis. Um, that's a lovely example right there. So blooming in mid-March, uh, member of the pea family. Uh, it's not um, not typically in the. Um, there's there's a couple of divisions of the pea family. Uh, some of the mesquites and things like that. Those are that's one division. This one actually has the uh, uh, normal pea-like flower, and it has uh, the uh, capsules, as you can imagine. Not probably more like mesquite. Um, a couple of species in North America, Occidentalis is the western one, uh, for example, and there's species in Asia and uh, Europe as well. Um, and this is the American. So, um, and I believe a couple, uh, at least one species in the Southwest, uh, not just Occidentalis. Um, but anyway... There we go. We can see all the uh, Claytonia, Virginiana in the grass as well. But anyway, blooming uh, lots of seed pods. I'm going to say the um, uh, Cirrus Acadensis is a um, more of a um, primary shrubby tree, uh, probably nitrogen uh, fixing. Uh, tends to occupy um, edges of the forest rather than middle of the forest. So, for example, right there. Um, so, not something you'd see outside. I mean, if there was normal uh, burning in this ecosystem, I think you'd see a lot more of it. But... Um, and I think we're going in that direction. Maybe a better ecological... Uh, maintenance. So there you go. So the American or uh, Canadian rosebud.